In this video, we're going to focus on solving right triangles. Solving right triangles means uh, finding the missing lengths of its sides and measurements of its angles. Let's say we have a right triangle here uh, where the sides are labeled as A, B, the longest side is C, and then the angle opposite side A is labeled as capital A. And then lastly, the angle opposite side B is capital B. Now, to find the missing lengths and angles, we will still be needing the trigonometric functions. Okay? And then two other equations. First, the Pythagorean theorem. And then we have here this equation, A plus B equals 90 degrees. This is derived from the fact that uh, the sum of all angles in a triangle, so in this case we have A plus B plus 90 degrees, should be equal to 180 degrees, right? Now let's take a look at the first problem. Uh, we are asked to solve this right triangle here. Okay, so to solve this right triangle, we need to find A, side A, side C, the hypotenuse C, and angle B. Okay, so given side B, this is side B, and this is angle A, right? Okay. We can start by solving first angle B using the equation A plus B equals 90 degrees, okay? So B is equal to 90 degrees minus A, where A is 40 degrees. Therefore, B is 50 degrees. Next, let's solve for side A. Okay. So to solve for side A, we should use a trigo function that will relate A with the known quantities here. So the known quantities here is angle A, which is 40 degrees, and side B, which is two units. Okay. So relative to angle A, side A is opposite, and then side B is adjacent. So opposite, adjacent, we can use tangent. Of angle A right so tangent of angle A where angle A is 40 degrees equals opposite angle A is side A divided by the adjacent side of angle A so that's side B which is equal to two units so plug in two then solve for A so A is equal to so cross multiply 2, we get 2 tangent of 40 degrees. Now, since 40 degrees is not a special angle, then let's use our calculators. So A is approximately 2 times tangent 40. This will result to 1.6782, say 1.68 units right then lastly let's solve for uh, the hypotenuse c to solve for c we can use another trigo function and again we will be basing the calculation on angle a okay so based on angle a relative to angle a we have here side b which is adjacent angle a and hypotenuse. So we have adjacent hypotenuse. We can use the cosine function. So cosine of angle A, where angle A is 40 degrees. This is equal to the adjacent side, which is 2 units, divided by the hypotenuse, which is C. Okay, so isolating C, we get 2 divided by cosine of 40 degrees okay therefore c is approximately 
2.61 units. Okay. Now, if you can notice, after we solved for angle B, we can actually solve for side A and side C uh, using appropriate trigo functions based on angle B. Okay. And also, after we solved for side A, we can actually solve for side C using the Pythagorean theorem. Right. However, it is highly suggested that we use whatever is known in the problem, okay, so that we can reduce the chances of making errors in our calculations. For instance, if we use the calculated value for A to solve for C using the Pythagorean theorem, right, and what if if your calculated value for A is wrong, then you plugged in here in the Pythagorean theorem, then it will result to a wrong value for C. At least if we use the known quantities, we can be sure that uh, the values that we plugged in are correct, right? Now, before we move on to the next problem, let's talk about the complementary angle theorem. Uh, this theorem states that co-functions of complementary angles are equal. Let's take, for instance, the right triangle from the previous problem. So we already have here the values, the calculated values of the missing sides and the missing angle. Okay. And then what if we uh, take the sine function of 50 degrees, so sine of 50 degrees, from the right triangle, it's equal to the opposite side, which is 2, divided by the hypotenuse, which is 2.61 units. Okay, And it's approximately 0.766. Also, if you plug in sine 50 degrees into your calculator, you'll get 0.766. Okay. Now, according to the complementary angle theorem, again, the cofunctions of complementary angles are equal so what's the cofunction of the sine function it's the the cosine function okay and then what's the complementary angle of 50 complementary angles are angles that add up to 90 degrees so the complementary angle of 50 degrees is 40 degrees now if we take the cosine of 40 degrees it should be equal to sine of 50 degrees Okay, so cosine of 40 is, where's 40 degrees? So this is 40 degrees. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So we have here 2 over 2.61. And it's approximately 0.766. Also, if you plug in cosine 40 degrees into your calculators, the result will be approximately 0.766. This is also true for the remaining two pairs of cofunctions. We have tangent and cotangent, and then secant and cosecant. Okay, if you try to solve for a tangent of 50 degrees, it should be equal to cotangent of 40 degrees, and vice versa. Okay, and then if you solve for secant of 50 degrees, it should be equal to cosecant of 40 degrees and again vice versa okay next problem so we are given the lengths of two sides we have here b equals 26 units and c equals 38 units and we don't have an illustration of the right triangle so let's let's, pr let's provide one okay so we have here side A, side B, and then the hypotenuse is C. Opposite side A is angle A. Opposite side B is angle B. Okay. Again, if there's no illustration, the given is just uh, the length of the sides, of any two sides, then we can assume that it follows this arrangement of uh, the variables. Okay. 
So let's now plug in the known quantities. B is 26 units and C is 38 units. So the missing side is A. And then we don't know angle A. We also don't know angle B. So we can solve first for side A using the Pythagorean theorem. C squared equals A squared plus B squared. Where A is square root of C squared minus B squared. C is... 38 and B is 26 squared. This will give us 16 square root of 3, which is approximately 27.71 units, say, say 28 units. Now let's solve for the missing angles. Let's start with angle A. So again, we will be using the known quantities. So we have here 26 and 38. Relative to angle A, side B, which is 26 units, is adjacent to angle A. And then C is hypotenuse. So adjacent, hypotenuse, let's use the cosine function. So cosine of angle A is equal to the adjacent side which is 26 units and the hypotenuse is 38 units okay now this is a problem where the angle is the unknown okay so to solve for the angle we need to apply inverse trigo functions okay in this case we have to apply inverse cosine okay to isolate a so on the left side of the equation, we will be left with A. And then on the right side, uh, applying inverse cosine. So that would be cosine raised to negative 1 of the value of 26 divided by 38. Okay, This can also be written as arc cosine of... 26 over 38 okay these two equations mean mean the same thing okay again if you look at the first term we want to take the inverse cosine of 26 over 38 and not the reciprocal of cosine of 26 over 38 those are two different things so just plug into your calculators okay most of the calculators are uh, using the shift function so that we can shift from uh, trigo functions to inverse trigo functions. Okay, so press shift and then whatever, and then press whatever trigo function. In this case, we are using cosine. Okay, so plug in. This will result to approximately 4683 degrees say 47 degrees okay and then next let's solve for angle b so to solve for angle b again we will be using the known quantities that we have here 26 and 38 so relative to angle b 26 is opposite and then we have the hypotenuse, so we should use the sine function, okay? So sine of angle B opposite over hypotenuse, so we have here 26 units over 38 units, okay? Again, apply inverse trigo, in this case inverse sine, so B now is equal to arc sine of 26 over 38 and this would result to 
43.17 degrees say say 43 degrees okay we can check by adding angle a and angle b and see if it results to 90 degrees right so we have here 47 degrees plus 43 degrees and indeed it will add up to 90 degrees okay 